T minus 30. Status check. Go Delta 2 and go OCO2. T minus 20. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15 seconds. Green board. T minus 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Engine start. One, zero, and lift off of the Delta II rocket with OCO2. Tracking a greenhouse gas in seek of clues to climate change. Good chamber pressure in both burners. Good chamber pressure in the three solids. Good symmetrical burn. 22 seconds in. Still looking good. Deck coming up uh, on one mile. Range distance 7.3 nautical miles. Velocity 959 miles per hour. Fast Mach 1. 50 seconds in, maximum dynamic pressure. Standing by for the solids, uh, dropping in chamber pressure. We have burnout of the three solids. We'll be holding on to those solids for about 40 seconds to assure a safe water impact point. One minute, seven seconds into the flight. Altitude now 7.2 nautical miles, downrange distance 10 nautical miles, velocity 991 miles per hour. One minute, 17 seconds in. About 15 seconds now until we expect those uh, three uh, solid boosters to separate from the vehicle as we're approaching the one minute, 30 second mark. And we have separation. Three solids have separated from the vehicle. One minute, 50 seconds in. now 17 nautical miles, downrange distance 4.5 nautical miles, velocity 1,462 miles per hour. Passing the two-minute, five-second mark. Number pressure is holding very well in the main engine and in both verniers. Engine control is good in the main engine and in both verniers. Now approaching two minutes, 20 seconds. Two minutes, 25 seconds. Chamber pressure is holding in the main engine and the verniers. Still looking good. Mission events occurring very close to their anticipated time. Mark, two minutes, 41 seconds. A vehicle now passing through Mach 5. Two minutes, 50 seconds in. Chamber pressure continues to look good. Main engine control and vernier control is good. Coming up on the three-minute mark. Mark, three minutes into the flight. Looking at our mission events, mission events have occurred uh, very close to their anticipated times. About one minute and ten seconds remaining in the first stage flight. Three minutes, 20 seconds in. Altitude now 35 nautical miles. Downrange distance 54.7 nautical miles. Velocity 5,077 miles per hour. Passing three minutes, 34 seconds. Vehicle now going Mach 10, 10 times the speed of sound. Less than one minute remains now in main engine flight. Three minutes, 50 seconds in, altitude 42.7 nautical miles, downrange uh, distance 94.9 nautical miles, velocity 7,384 miles per hour. Passing the four-minute mark, expect main engine cut off about uh, 20 seconds from now. Standing by. And we have main engine cutoff, standing by for vernier cutoff. 
And we have Vico, the Vernier Cutoff, standing by for stage separation. And we have one, two, SEP, standing by for ignition. And we have ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressures beginning to rise. Good chamber pressure on the second stage. Standing by for fairing jettison. And we have fairing jettison. Good fairing jettison now at uh, five minutes, five seconds into the flight. Altitude now 71.8 nautical miles. Downrange distance 269.1 nautical miles. Velocity 10,671 miles per hour. Now passing uh, five minutes, 28 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure good on the second stage, very good engine control in the second stage. Five minutes, 41 seconds in. Altitude 82.7 nautical miles, downrange distance 360 nautical miles, our velocity 11,127 miles per hour. Now passing five minutes, 55 seconds into the flight, still looking good, chamber pressure holding very well in the second stage. Good engine control in the second stage, in pitch and yaw. Six minutes, six seconds in. This uh, first burn of the uh, second stage is scheduled to last about five minutes and 43 seconds. Still looking good. About four minutes uh, remaining in this first burn of the second stage. Taking a look at our uh, flight events, uh, flight events occurred uh, very, very close to our expected times. Now passing uh, six minutes, 50 seconds in. Our altitude now is uh, 95.6 nautical miles, downrange distance 542 nautical miles, Velocity 12,122 miles per hour. Passing seven minutes in. About uh, three minutes, 15 seconds now remaining in this first burn of this evening. Transitioning now to data seven through minutes. Tedris West. We're on the tracking of data relay satellite, Tedris West. Command uh, receiver decoders uh, have been commanded off. And we are in the Tedris mode. Seven minutes, 45 seconds in. Chamber pressure continues to hold on the second stage. Good engine control. Eight minutes into the flight, altitude now passing 101 nautical miles, downrange distance 745 nautical miles, velocity 13,408 miles per hour. Passing eight minutes, 21 seconds, about two minutes remain on this first burn. Eight minutes, 45 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure holding very well. Good engine control. Coming up on the nine minute mark. Mark, nine minutes into the flight. Altitude now 101 and a half nautical miles, downrange distance 942 nautical miles, velocity 14,851 miles per hour. Nine minutes, 21 seconds in, one minute remaining on this first burn.
Engine control continues to look good. Chamber pressure holding. Thirty seconds now remaining in this first burn. Approaching ten minutes in. Mark, ten minutes into the flight. Altitude nine hundred and hundred point four nautical miles, downrange distance. 1166 nautical miles, velocity 16,555 miles per hour. Standing by for SECO 1, standing by. And we have SECO. Hydraulic pump off. Ten minutes, 40 seconds in. The uh, next burn of the uh, second stage will occur about 40 minutes from now. That will be a very short burn. 